All right, we are in Union, South Carolina. My nephew right there that you see, I'm packing the truck, dropping him off at the dorm uh, or housing area that he'll be staying here for school. We're getting him all set up. It's a little rainy outside, but uh, we should have everything unpacked here shortly. And then we've got to start putting together all of the furniture that we brought up here desks and bed and other stuff like that but just want to show you a little bit of the outside area i believe the school is probably across the way we'll try and get a shot of that before we leave here today so you can see the school he'll be attending but uh yep yeah, we'll be right back with more of the inside of the uh housing area for the guys on the baseball team and let you see what that looks like and we'll be back okay we're back for another shot <laughs> as you can see ralph has a little friend her name is jasmine we call her jazz hey jazz she is how old six weeks six weeks old and what type of dog is jazz belgian shepherd belgian shepherd they don't get very big but they are great dogs especially if you're looking for a protection dog they are trained to uh basically protect you <laughs> they will attack show them what you're working with girl she said i look like a little something now but i am going to grow up to be something really really amazing oh but yeah, we had to bring little Jazz with us today because we didn't want to leave her at home by herself. She's too little. So she took a ride to Union, South Carolina with us to make sure we get my nephew Malik all set up for school. Okay, so we're getting ready to go on and head into this house and start putting together furniture and get him all set up so we ready to go yeah. let's take a walk we're headed in family the house is beautiful inside it's an older house that has been totally gutted in the inside remodeled it has a very very fresh new look to it you can see even the steps but the handrails have been redone on the outside here. We're coming in through the back way and into what is the kitchen part of the house. It smells like a new house inside, but just take a look at the cabinets, uh, the kitchen cabinetry that uh, they've got in here for the guys. You know, school starts on Monday, and they're all here getting set up, you know, microwave, refrigerator, yeah, washer, dryer, everything they need to uh, be able to sustain themselves while they're here at school. Yeah, washer dryer room, laundry room, and more cabinets, countertop area, and I think this house has approximately four bedrooms in it. Each bedroom has its own bathroom. This area is a sitting area, extra sitting area. And then at the front here is the uh, main living room area. Check it out. And I mean, in the winter, they even have the option to have a fire here. They've got a very nice fireplace that is in place here. And Malik is actually situated upstairs in what they call the loft area so let's go up here 
And check out the loft area where my nephew is going to be. As you can see, everybody's working, getting ready to put stuff together, be a friend. There's Miss Deja sitting there chilling. What's up, Deja? Dictating. You dictate. Dictating. Move over there. Uh-huh. Yes. But this is Malik's area that he'll be Come on. in. Come on, Jazz. Mm-hmm. Come on, Jazz. <laughs> That's my sister cat. Come here, where you going? My Come nephew's on, mother. Go you know, I'm his on, other me. mother. But that's his biological mama right there. <laughs> and his dad. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That's Mark. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't suggest going down those steps. Yeah. And they are putting stuff together. So we're going to get busy here. Put together all this bedding and desks and stuff, tables. And uh, once we're done, I'll let you get a look at everything once we put everything together. All right, we finally got everything put together. Not like how we want it to, but uh, we jerry-rigged a few things. Uh, we got to come back with some more stuff. Bed is up. TV's up. Had the desk put together, but missing a part. So we got to come back and finish that. Ralph's still over there playing with Jazzy. She's chilling. And then, you know, TV and all that is in place. You know, typical college room for starting. School starts on Monday. First thing. <clears throat> He's uh, trying to play strong, but I know uh, there's a little nervousness going on. But after about two days, he'll be fine. Well, yep, yeah, that's it. We're going to close this session out. Malik is actually ready to go to school, y'all. He is going to be here. Getting it going. Getting it going. Cat, you gonna cry? You sure? Yeah, I'm good. She said, oh, no, uh uh. When we pull out tonight, we see how that go. You gotta never know. <laughs> you gotta never know. She is going to try to hold it in, but we'll see who cried the hardest, her or Malik. <laughs> you know, it's tough. I know it is. It's oh. almost like going the first day of school when they're little kids in kindergarten. You drop them off. It's first day of school. Similar feeling. But you get over it. After a couple of days, you get with your friends and all that, hanging out. And you're on your own. Just another phase of your life. But we wish my nephew much luck and success. We'll be coming up here checking out some of his games. He'll be playing soon, but... Uh, Didn't he say they got, they got games starting in September? Mm -hmm. so they, they in September? Mm -hmm. so they might be playing a little fall. Okay. But we'll be up here to check it out, see how he's doing. Mm -hmm. But with that, we'll close this out. This is Sunday 7 with Auntie Niece, and we're going to keep trucking and find more chronicles to do. Peace. <laughs>